with classes for every recognised breed, we're going to be very busy in Stafford this weekend. So, welcome to Around the Dog World at Manchester 2017. Welcome to Manchester Championship Dog Show as we kick off the 2017 show calendar. Now, it's the second show of the year. We had Boston a couple of weeks ago. So, to get us up to speed, we welcome Di Johnson. Hello. It's a great, great show to be at, isn't it? Mate? Wonderful. Um, as I walked in early before it was full, the improvements are so obvious. Everything seems brighter. This society put a lot of effort in. Yeah, that's, that's clear as you, as you walk in the hall, as you say. Uh, now, we have to go back to Boston. Yes. Uh, on our last programme, we spoke about Tyler the Bulldog. Yeah. We're runner-up top dog last year, and he started 2017 just as well. Best in show. And having been beaten so narrowly for Dog of the Year, how lovely for him to come out and have that win. He looked stunning, I must say. He bounces with health, doesn't yeah. he? He looks super. And he seems to start the year well. Last year at Manchester, he won Best in Show. So he likes January, it seems. Yeah, yeah, yes. And there's been lots going on already today. Mr. Brace, uh, Andrew is judging the Beagles, so I'm sure he's enjoying that. But a big story of the day, Border Terrier, a new breed CC record holder. Exciting, very exciting, because I believe it's out of the man's first litter. It's a strong breed, you know, to get through in Border Terriers. And of course, he took the record from a really super dog. Rumberhill Brannigan. Yes, that's the dog. What a thrill to take the record from such a great one. And we've admired that dog many times over the last three years, haven't we? And of course we've got to move on to this weekend. So let's get to it. The first group tonight is the Terriers, judged by Mike Vickers. Right, Mike's going to take opportunity to move the calls to the Adele Terrier. Number one, the And the Woodlington Terrier. Number one, three, four, two. Then we have the order terror. Number one, three, eight, three. Next we have the smooth fox terror. Number one, six, one, four. Now we have the wild fox terror. Next we have the Manchester Terrier. This way. Then we have the Norfolk Terrier. And finally the Sky Terrier. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to those four that made the final shortlist. If you take the round to the top of the ring, please. Right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of the Terrier Group Manchester 2017 is the Sky Terrier. Big round of applause. Group two goes to the Wire Fox Terrier. And group three goes to the Norfolk Terrier. And it's group four, the Manchester Terrier. That's the Sky Terrier. Followed by group two, the Wire Fox Terrier. Group three, the Norfolk Terrier. And finally, group four, the Manchester Terrier. Well, Jean, you looked a bit shocked by Barney's group win. <laughs> I was, yes. Very shocked. Um, but this is this is not his only success, is it? No, he's had reserve best in show at Scottish Breeds, and he's had third and fourth placings, but it's his first Terrier group win. <laughs> and, 
he looks like he can move for you. He can move, and today I'm having trouble keeping up with him because he hasn't been out since LKA. So so he was raring to go. He's really enjoyed himself today, <laughs> yes. Uh, clearly. <laughs> um, and I understand uh, he's quite a special, special boy for you. It's the only dog I've ever bred. I've got his sister as well, and um, they've both been top dog over the last couple of years. But his sister has beaten him this last year for best guy. Best guy. Well. Yeah, but he was runner off. Not, not bad, is oh, it? No, it wasn't bad. But One and two in a litter. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, but yeah, it was the first litter I've ever bred, and I've done very well with both of them. Yeah. Um, and I mean, you're now heading to uh, Best Insuring on Sunday. You've got to be quite excited. That's the first, yes. Yeah, yeah I look forward to that. Well, hopefully he's just full of himself on Sunday as well. Yes, I do as well. <laughs> I have to have a bath again now. <laughs> Group winner and Hound Puppy Group 2 winner, Mel, you've had quite an extraordinary day. Just a little bit, yeah, it's been a pretty good day today. Uh, now, this isn't Peter who won the Hound Group, but no. you went back in, into the puppies. Yeah, this is his half sister, uh, same sire. Oh, I think she likes the microphone. And she's had a good day too. She has, she got a <laughs> bitch ticket today from uh, Minor Puppy Bitch. Oh, I think she wants to go down. So, all in all, what have you what have you won today? Because you're a bit addicted to winning today. Yeah, we've got the dog <laughs> ticket, bitch ticket. This sounds really bad. So, um, champ stakes, won the group and puppy group two. You, so you can't dream of a day like that, can you? No, they don't happen very often, do they? So, no, I'm really, really pleased. But Peter, in the last couple of months of the of 2016, just started lighting up hungry. Yeah, yeah. He, in fact, he won the uh, best in show here at this venue, uh, Midland Counties, at the end of last year. So, yeah, he's. Uh, Really excited for 2017. I am, I am, yeah. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much, cheers. Well, there we are, end of day one at Manchester 2017, and a couple of groups Terrier followed by Hounds. And starting off, Sky Terrier, a first time group winner, Di. Uh, Barney. Yes. Did we not see him feature in the group at Richmond? Uh, I think it was group four there, yeah. Yeah, lovely. And he's got a sister, hasn't he, Andrew? That you Briar, Briar Rose, I think. Yeah, champion, litter mate, dog and bitch. Yeah. And I think, I think he's on about 16 cc's or something. Very handsome dog, excellent outline, top line tail carriage, very glamorous coat, sensible temperament. And in the, in the short list, yeah. we had an old friend of ours, the Bok de Bach Border Terrier who today created yeah. a new breed record yeah, for CC's one. We spoke about it earlier. And he, Four uh, years of age. Yeah. We've discussed this earlier on when you were judging. Oh, right. Yeah, he, okay. he was busy. I was, uh, bu I was yeah. busy. Um, and on to your Beagle, best of breed winner in the Hound Group, goes on to take the group, Peter Piper. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was very happy, obviously. <laughs> He's um, playing the modesty card now, isn't he? 
Does it suit him? <laughs> no, not really. It's, it, it's hard. Just, it's I hard. watched him and it was out, absolutely outstanding. Um, he's, a, he's a young dog. He won the Dog CC by a margin. Melanie also won the Bitch CC with his half-sister out of minor puppy bitch. And to be honest, when I saw the two of them together, they looked like a male and a female version of the same picture. I was delighted with them. Um, and another one we've liked previously, another young male, uh, Magic Mike, the Petit in second, I Yeah, we have. We saw him take both at the Ukanuba. Yeah, he won every, the of everything. The year. Actually, I thought that was one of the strongest home groups I've seen in a long time. So did I. And I, I, thought, totally Zola, I thought Zola Ross and Shortlist, Shortlist was, excellent. Was, was absolutely so did I. excellent. Well, certainly a good couple of groups today. Hopefully we get some more this weekend. So, come back for Toys and Utility tomorrow. Welcome to day two of Manchester 2017 here on Around the Dog World. Now, yesterday we found our first two best in show competitors, the Sky Terrier and Beagle. Today we add two more from the Utility and Toy Group. First of all, let's go and see who Dave Killley picked in the Utility game. First off, we have the heater number 3670. Next from our final shortlist is the Japanese Akita Inu number 3689. And next to our shortlist of dogs is the Chow Chow number 3964. That's the Japanese Sheep Inu number 4328. Social the Dogs, the Lusser Atso, number 4497. That's the Mr. Breed Pitcher Poodle, number 4625. Next we have the Standard Poodle, number 4688. That's the Mr. Breed Tibetan Spaniel, number 5010. Final look by our judge, Mr. Dave Killerly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with the winner of the utility group, the Miniature Poodle. Big round of applause. And group two, the Tibetan Spaniel. Utility Group 3 goes to the Japanese Shiba Inu. And finally, Utility Group 4 goes to the Chow Chow. The winner of the Utility Group of Manchester 2017 is the Miniature Poodle. Group 2 is the Tibetan Spaniel. The Japanese Shiba Inu, the Chow Chow. Well, Melanie. Uh, last time we were out, end of last year, we saw you win a group and you've gone and done it again to kick off the year with a bang. Oh, it's fabulous. What a way to end the year and what a way to start the year. I mean, it's just, I can't speak. It, it's just what dreams are made of. But last time you were a last minute substitute and you co-owned the dog. <laughs> this is a different one today. This is a different one. This is me own. My own, my own little boy. So yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so chuffed. But the same father. As the, the bitch I won the group with at LKA, so um, and the family. Yeah. But uh, a very young dog? Yeah, he'll be two in the end of May, I think he'll be two. So he's still a baby. He didn't come out as a youngster because he was a bit wild. <laughs> he looked like he enjoyed that enjoyed that way. He's, he's very much got his own his own way and if you try and interfere with him he's like no I'm not gonna do it your way, I'm gonna do it my way. He's a he's a handful to show but when he's on form, God I love showing him. He just he just floats. So what's he won before today? He's got one CC and best of breed and a group shortlist. He's two or three reserve CCs and so a group win today. My God, I'm speechless. <laughs> so Dave, your group winner, the miniature poodle, what did you make of him? Oh, really nice for such a youngster. Excellent on the move, front and back. Great side gate, presentation superb and with a real good handler. Close though to a Tibetan. And that sounded like a popular win. <laughs> yeah, very popular win. Superb on the move, great headpiece, 
attitude to die for, super handler, maybe just a little bit more coat at a push to that extra place, but it was very close between those two. Um, and another another great handler uh, on the Sheba in third. Yeah, I've given Liz a group with the Sheba before. Superbly sound, lovely oriental headpiece, good coat, and Liz knows how to put a Sheba down. Yeah. And the Chow in fourth? The Chow, exciting male, five years old, got all the bone and the substance you want, nice headpiece, lovely clean eyes, correct in the mouth, neat ears, and excellent for a Chow on the move, coming and going. Well deserved his place. And some nice dogs in the lineup that just didn't quite make it today. That's the Italian Greyhound number 2934. Next to go is the Japanese Chin number 2943. That's the King Charles Spaniel number 3079. That's the Maltese number 3134. Now we have the Papillon, number 3286. And our final shortlisted dog is the Pug, number 3447. So very soon we'll have our fourth group winner. And the winner is the Maltese. Toy Group 2 goes to the Papillon. And now Toy Group 3 goes to the Japanese Chin. Toy Group 4 goes to the Bichon Frise. The winner of the Toy Group Manchester 2017 to lead off, followed by the Group 2, the Papillon, Group 3, the Japanese Chin, and finally Group 4, the Bichon Frise. Javier and Ian, an amazing win. Yeah, absolutely. His third ticket, winning the group, and ladies becoming English champion. I'm really happy. But this is not the first group he's won over here, is it? No, he won the group and reserve best in in Birmingham National, and then was group 13 middle countries. So he likes this hole? Mm, maybe, yeah. <laughs> but this, that's not all he's won, is it? No. Uh, last year we finished the year with 40 best in social breeds. And he got a group at the World Dog Show, reserve group at the European Dog Show, so he did really well. And it sounds like you've had to travel as well. Quite a lot. <laughs> Last weekend we were in Oporto, week before that we were in Helsinki. Yeah. <laughs> Porto sounds a little nicer than Stafford. Uh, yes. Why well, it's quite humid and quite cold as well, eh? Um, you must be excited now going into Best in Show. Of course. Well, the very best of luck and we'll see you on Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank you. David, your group winner, the Immaculate Maltese. Yes, absolutely immaculate. Quality animal, put on a sterling performance, foot perfect, really the package today. And your whole top four, talk about presentation. Yes, put down to the minute, not overly presented, just clean, healthy, happy, fit looking animals that were in top form body and court wise um, and last year's uh, top toy year before top dog travis in second yes lovely dog a really lovely dog and he's kept his form and every credit to them for keeping them in such great form um, a japanese chin robson in third yeah lovely quality very typical superb head and one of the best bodies uh, and lastly uh, bichon frise in fourth yes smart as paint he knew his job he moved to absolutely true, and he, he again was presented to the minute. Um, and what about your group as a whole? What did you, you make of your, all of your toys today? I was very happy with it. A quality group, a good way to start the year with a quality animal. <laughs> well, we've concluded day two of Manchester 2017 with two more competitors for the Best in Show lineup. We'll start with the utility group winner, Di. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a miniature poodle. Yeah. Very stylish, 
Very fashionable, good side gate. A very stylish young dog, all of a piece, carries himself, yeah. you know, like, like a poodle should. Yes. And we move on to what is probably going to be the most popular win of the weekend, Tibetan Spaniel in second. Oh, yeah. The roar that went up. It was lovely. It was, Beautiful. It was just lovely. Yeah, she's... <laughs> Uh, no, stop, te stop teasing me. She's teasing me because the bitch won her third CC under me <laughs> in Scotland in 2015. And I think she's a classic Tibetan Spaniel. The correct head, marvellous outline. And she'd won her first two CCs under Jane Lilly and Michael Leonard, who were both okay. Tibetan Breed Spaniel specialists. experts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I was thrilled to see her do so well in, in, in a good group yeah. under Dave Killerley. Yeah. And wasn't Dave Killerley impressive? What an efficient judging job. I mean, the, his shortness. And very slim. Yes. I love decisive judges. And another one, David Guy in the toy group. Oh, brilliant. Another, another slim. <laughs> yeah. And we got a thing about people being... Well, it's probably because we have, we have a little <laughs> weight thing going on. You can't maybe. trust thin people, really. The, David's great. Yeah. Uh, his winner, uh, Maltese, Ian. Ian. Ian Sommerhalder, who is, I mean, he was winning in Portugal last week. I've judged him in Finland and Gibraltar. <laughs> the work that goes oh. into presenting that coach. Do you remember that when he had it in the group at Crufts a few years ago? Sasha. Yeah. Ian is the son of Sasha. And we should say that day uh, he was judged in the breed by Sarah Jackson. Today again was judged by Sarah Jackson in the breed. Yeah. Who's and done it. quite well with her yes. own Maltese? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I've yeah. it. Um, and I, I said to David, his top four in that group, talk about presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, that happy, happy little uh, papillon leaping about, full of the joys of spring. But then shouldn't toy dogs be like that? Mm, exactly. Uh, well, it has been some, some super groups yes, so far this week. Yes. You will see good groups when societies choose good breed judges. I've found something to watch every day, even though it was only... Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Andrew and I. We'll speak to you again tomorrow. Day three is working and passionate. Welcome to Around the Dog World at the Stafford County Showground. On day three of Manchester 2017, it's the pastoral, but first, Ben Reynolds Frost's working group. Right, that's the Alaskan Malamute, number 5196. Next on our shortlist, we have the Burley's Mountain Dog, number 5328. Now we have the Bull Mastiff, number 5614. Now we have the Leon Burger, number 5978. The Newfoundland, number 6023. Next we have the Giant Schnauzer, number 5853. The Rockweiler, number 6134. And finally, the St Bernard, number 6238. Very soon, we will have our fifth group winner. The winner of the working group, Manchester 2017, is the Bull Mastiff. <laughs> working group two, the Rottweiler. And working group three, the giant schnauzer. Working group four, the St. Bernard. The Bull Mastiff, followed by group two, the Rockweiler. Group three, the giant schnauzer. And finally, group four, the St. Bernard. Well, Bill and Kiff, Kiff is looking smashing. Thank you, yeah, no, he's maturing with age. But he's really coming on. Yeah, he likes it. Uh, you, you, you must feel great being able to get, get him moving like he did today. Yeah, yeah, I do. He was, we had, we were in Belgium a couple of weeks ago, he went best in show there, and he's turned six in December, and it's, yeah, he's done good with it. And 
have you have you changed what you've been doing? Because he's, he's looking better than better than ever. No, nothing. Nothing's changed at all. Part, with the exception, he's possibly a bit thinner. He's lost a bit of weight since before, but that's all. Nothing else. But, but so, so, I don't know. He, it's doing him well. Yeah, it is doing good. I'm really pleased with him, but I've done nothing. No. Uh, but I mean, uh, Bull Mastiffs, you've got a lot of hot competition. Yeah. Oh, there's loads of Bull Mastiffs around. The Bull Mastiffs are good. Yeah. The top end is very good. We don't have the numbers, but we do have quality at the top. Um, and, you know, he's one best in show around the world. Yeah. That's still missing from his British CV, isn't it? Yeah, it's still missing. But <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard one to do. Well, very best of luck for tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Well, well Ben. Your working group winner, the Bull Mastiff, blew you away today. Fabulous dog, absolutely fabulous dog. I understand winning his third group today, seen him from ringside, never had a chance to go over him. And you spent a long time watching him on that final I shortlist. <laughs> I did, yeah. He's six years old and he's absolutely in the prime of his life. Yeah. He just moves so well for a, for a six-year-old. It's yeah. been a pleasure. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Uh, what about the, your shortlist? What did you, you make of the...? The Rottweiler, I love the Rottweiler. I've done the, work, the Rottweiler well as a puppy and as an adult. If I'd had two first prizes, you'd have had the other one. <laughs> uh, are the giant snouts in there? Snouts a young dog, well, you say young, it's two years old. Nice dog. And finally, the St Bernard in, in front. Yeah, moves so beautifully for a really big working dog, you know, so freely. Yeah. What about the quality of your group today? Were you happy? Fabulous, yeah. It was very good. Couldn't really fault it. A few moving close behind, but... So that does sound that you really enjoyed yourself today. Yep, I always do. Why <laughs> judge if you don't enjoy yourself? <laughs> Thank you very much, Ben. Right, it's another chance for our judge to have a final look at these dogs on the move. Best of breed, bearded collie, number 6537. Next we have the Belgian Shepherd dog, Turvel. Number 6632. Next on the move we have the Briard. Number 6840. Our best of breed sweet collie, number 6949. That's the Old English Sheepdog, number 7158. Next to be moved is the Samoyed, number 7248. That's the best of breed Swedish Valhund, number 7464. And the last of our eight shortlisted finalists is the Welsh Corky Pembroke, number 7519. And the winner of the pastoral group, Manchester 2017, is... The Smooth Collie! <laughs> pastoral group two, the Briard. <laughs> the Bearded Collie. And finally, pastoral group four, the Welsh Corky Pembroke. Ladies and gentlemen, a lap of honour by our partial group winner, the Smooth Collie, followed by Group 2, the Briard, the Bearded Collie, the Welsh Corgi Pembroke. So Trevor and Petra, you looked a little surprised. I was very surprised, they <laughs> totally gobsmacked, yes. And I understand Petra's got quite a record behind her. Yeah, she's never been beaten for the CC. She's been to 16 championship shows and won 16 challenge certificates. That's unbelievable. It's very good. She's <laughs> certainly the best. We've had 75 champions, wow. and this is without the best, best smooth collie we've ever had. That must... I just unfortunately, I haven't bred her. <laughs> but she does carry some of our breeding. So, so where is it Petra's come from? She's come from Finland. And, uh, how, how did you choose Petra? Well, I saw a photograph of her, and I know the breeders, and I've had stock from them before. And I always said, can I buy her? And they said, no. <laughs> and we went to the World Show, and all of a sudden they decided they were going to part with her, and they said, you can have her if you want to. So I snapped the hand off. <laughs> yeah. that, that must be incredible to get, get hold of one that, you, that in your, your opinion, is that good. Yes, yeah, I just couldn't believe my luck. 
<laughs> well, I mean, she's got such a record in the breed ring. Now, yes. now a group. I, I understand she's been shortlisted every time she's been in the group. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good going. Yes, but this is her first placing. Very, very good luck for tomorrow night. Thank you very much. I'll do my best. <laughs> okay. So, John, your group winner, the Smooth Collie, what did you make? Lovely. Absolutely lovely bitch. Beautiful parallel head planes, lovely angulation, sound as a pound, and showed her heart out. She really caught my eye when she came into the ring first time round, and I sort of just verified that we can over her. Got to, be, got to be tough if a dog catches you right at the beginning. You've That's got to look for things to beat it. Definitely. Definitely. It was a quality group. There was quite a few of them there that I really was impressed with. And you know, sort of short listening it was tough, and short listening it even further was even tougher, <laughs> but it's what we're there for. And that's got to be a pleasure when it's that, it that good. It was. It was the best group I've judged so far. Fantastic. And the, the Briard in second. Yep. Lovely dog. Absolutely lovely dog. Beautifully balanced, beautiful coat texture, lovely hook to the tail, sound as a pound, nearly there. You know, so, uh, a bearded collie in third. Beautiful dog, I've actually judged that dog before as a young pup and had rewarded him quite well. A lovely type, just very moderate, good angles, beautiful head and excellent pigment. And finally, uh, last year's top pastoral, Magnus the yep. Pembroke Corgian. Again, another dog I've judged, I've given best of breed just recently and you can't deny that he's a beautiful corgi. Yeah. The correct ears, beautiful eye, and as sound as a pound again. And in a pastoral group, working dogs that are supposed to be herding, soundness is utmost. Excellent representatives to the breed. Well, there you are. End of day three, and two more group winners for our best in show lineup. That's six in total, one more tomorrow. But first, let's talk about tonight's group winners. And one we know that Andrew and I both love Kiff, the Bull Mastiff. We do. We said all the way along we love the dog. His movement tonight was super. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen him go better than he did tonight. He, he was really on form. And he's, he's a fully mature dog. And sadly, I hear he's, he's going back to Australia to his breeder, apparently, which uh, which will be a big wrench for Billy Warren. I'm well, sure. and a big wrench for Kith. I mean, he settles it's, here. It's, and a, long, he loves it's it. a long trip for a mature it dog is, to it make. Is. And in second, we have a Rottweiler. Ben liked this one before, I think. Yes, Ben's got a, a, a fondness for Rottweilers from that kennel, I think. <laughs> oh, and then move on to the pastoral group. Yes. Smooth Collie. Yes. Unusual, but I personally am pleased to see Trevor and his wife, Birgit. They single-handedly have kept that breed alive. They don't sell well. They're happy to give them away. This one is one, actually, he's brought in from Finland. It's very nice. Smooth Collies in Finland for many, many years have been so fabulously strong. I think I'm right in saying that this particular one has never, ever been beaten in the breed. Never been beaten for the CC, but beaten twice out of 16 attempts for best of breed. Well, there you are. Boris, you see? Um, and we move on to second, a dog that clearly likes Manchester, yes. Briard. He's called Colin. I know him well because the man also has Great Danes. And a, a good dog. You know, I'm sure his name's blast. Colin. The dog is called Colin, I'm telling you. It seems the most un briard like name. You yeah. had a beagle called Michael. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tolliver. Michael Tolliver. Tales in the city. I <laughs> had a great Dane called Precious, but Carl wouldn't call him that, so we had to call him Roly for short. <laughs> Carl, if you think I'm saying, come on, Precious, you're wrong. <laughs> and lining up for a, a smashing best in show lineup, six so far. Yeah, he's a lucky man, isn't he, yeah, to have these? Yeah, I think it'll be a pleasure to judge. Yeah. Yeah, very much looking forward to that. So, come back after the break for day four of Manchester. Welcome to Around the Dog World on the final day of Manchester 2017. We have six of our best in show lineup already and we need just one more. So let's head into the main ring now for Liz Cartledge and her gun dog team. That's the German short head pointer, number 7776. That's the Gordon setter, number 7846. That's the Hungarian Wirehead Visitor, number 8042. That's the Irish Setter, number 8278. That's the Cocker Spaniel, number 9338. That's the Irish Water Spaniel, Number 
That's the English Spaniel number 9474. That's the Ivanarana number 9738. Right, we're ready for the boards. So very soon we'll have our final group winner to compete for Best in Show Manchester 2017. And the winner of the Gundog Group Manchester 2017 is the Gordon Setter. Followed by Group 2, the Cocker Spaniel. And Gundog Group 3 goes to the Vimarana. And finally, Gundog Group 4 goes to the Irish Water Spaniel. The Gordon Setter, followed by Group 2, the Cocker Spaniel, Vimarana, and finally, the Irish Water Spaniel. David and James, another group win to CB. You must be very happy with that. Very, very pleased indeed. First show of 2017, good start. Um, yeah, really pleased. We had an excellent breed entry, really good depth of quality. We thought the group was fantastic. Um, obviously, one with him, our Vime Runner was group third as well, yeah. so we're very biased <laughs> as to how well, how, how good the dogs were that were placed. So, thrilled to bits, yeah. yeah and that's a good day, isn't it? Very good day, yeah, very good day, yeah. Um, why is James so special? Well, <laughs> there's a question. Um, I think he's great. I find him a very easy dog to show. He's, he's very soundly made, so he's very easy to set up. He's very uh, free-flowing on the move, so he just does it all. He enjoys it and he shows well. Well, you've only got a couple of minutes. Good luck when you go back into the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Liz, James, Gordon Setter, your gun dog group winner. What did you make of him? Well, I, this was my first group, so I was quite worried yeah. because <laughs> over the years I've criticised gun dog gun dog movement mm -hmm. generally and I think I was very lucky I got a strong group and the Gordon Setters a free flowing lovely lovely outline went around never put a foot wrong and, and I loved the little cocker yeah. and the Weimarana and the water spaniel you know I was lucky very lucky I think for a first group to get that sort of quality I'm thrilled. So we have our seven best in show finalists yeah, right. Andrew the Gordon Setter finishes the seven off. What do you make of him? Mm -hmm. Crufts Group winner, yeah. fully mature, in a in a breed that is slow to mature, um, in wonderful condition, flowed around the ring, um, and interesting for David Alcorn because he co-owns the Weimaraner, the young Weimaraner, who ends up Group Three. That's a good day, isn't it? Oh, I would think it's a pretty good day as far as the Davids are concerned. I mean, that was it was a good group, that lovely cocker. I think that cocker oozes quality. So we'll come back to you in a few minutes after Best in Show, judged by Martin Freeman. Mr Martin Freeman, the winner of the Terrier group, the Sky Terrier, the Beagle, the Miniature Poodle, the Maltese, then we have the winner of the working group, the Bull Mastiff, the Smooth Collie, and finally the winner of the Gundog group earlier this afternoon, the Gordon Setter. So our first group winner was the winner of the Terrier group on Thursday evening. The winner was the Sky Terrier. That's the Terrier group winner, the Sky Terrier number 1858. Next to our judge, Martin Freeman, is the winner of the Hound Group, and the Hound Group was judged by Mrs. Zola Rawson. That's the winner of the Hound Group, the Beagle, number 414. Next on the table, we have our Utility Group winner from day two, the Miniature Poodle. That's our winner of the Utility Group, the Miniature Poodle, number 4625. Next on the table, also from day two, our Toy Group winner, the Maltese, a dog. The winner of the Manchester Toy Group, the Maltese, number 3134. Next we move on to day three, and the winner of our working group, the Bull Mastiff, number 5614. That's our working group winner, Manchester 2017, the Bull Mastiff, number 5614. 
Also on day three, we had the pastoral group, and the winner was the Smooth Collie. That's the winner of the pastoral group, the Smooth Collie, number 6949. And the final of our seven dogs is the winner of the Gun Dog Group earlier this afternoon. Our Gun Dog Group winner, the Gordon Setter, number 7846. So that completes Martin's initial assessment of each dog. And very soon we will know the winner of Best in Show at Manchester 2017. Best in Show at Manchester 2017. Javier, you must be uh, amazed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Incredible feeling. Yeah. Um, and now, this is his first Best in Show in the in UK, Japan. but he's got plenty more, hasn't he? 40. So this one is his 41. <laughs> There's something like 11,500 dogs that you've beaten this weekend. Yeah, he's, in, he's amazed by the, num the, the numbers that they have over here. Yeah. And what for you? makes Ian a 41-time Best in Show winner? I think he's really good in the breed, and I think that he has really a special character. He's always ready to go, he's always happy to come to the ring, and <laughs> I think that this makes him like, look at me, look at me. <laughs> he, he certainly was asking Martin to look at him tonight, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> it was a ma fantastic performance. D do you feel that on the end of the lead? Yeah, I felt him really good. I was really proud of him. And you, you, must, you must worry between days, get, What's the preparation to get him in that mood, getting, getting him ready for the ring? Honestly, any preparation, as soon as he comes to the show, is like, see the building, start to bark, want to go inside, want... <laughs> for him it's like a game, he really enjoys it. That must be incredible to have a dog like that. Yeah, he's well, special. Yeah, well, congratulations, and hopefully we see Ian a bit more in the UK. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> so, Martin, the Maltese clearly blew you away tonight. It is, it's one of the best toy dogs that I've ever seen. It is superb in every way. Cannot be faulted. You must feel pretty lucky. That was a special best in show lineup. Yes, that was everything I could have wished. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What about your reserve uh, beagle? Very nice as well. Very compact and everything a beagle should be. Uh, what were you looking for when you went into to the best in show ring tonight? Uh, style, uh, good movement, and something that's very eye catching. And the Maltese is definitely that. And definitely <laughs> that. You couldn't wish for anything better than that. <laughs> no. And closely followed by the Beagle. Yeah. As well. well, thank you very much, Tom Just, and congratulations on judging. OK, thanks thank very you. much. Thank you. Well, best in show, Manchester 2017, the Maltese multi-champion, Chinchetta? Chinachita. Chinachita, Ian Somerhalder. Andrew, a spectacular dog. Yeah. He is impeccably groomed, wonderf wonderful type, full of quality. And after that first movement, yeah. and he went back to Martin, and he just struck a pose. I said to the friends I was sitting with, I think that's clinched it. Yeah. He I, is I, exquisite. It was a wonderful best in show lineup. Yes, it was. One of the strongest I've seen. Yeah, it was, I agree. But that Maltese is exquisite. Yeah. And the last walk round, uh, as Martin stops, a little wag of the tail. Yeah. Have you seen me? I'm yeah. pretty... And I have to say, I lied the other day. I said I'd given him best in show in Gibraltar. It wasn't Gibraltar, it was Valladolid in Spain. Obviously. We, we, we both knew Edit that. that. Edit that. I knew you'd pick that up. <laughs> when I asked you to make a prediction, you said it all comes down to performance, and that dog has got it. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know, even when it relaxed, it relaxed like a top model. You know, it, it lays with the coat out, doesn't it? It's just exquisite. Um, 
and Andrew, the dial-in Peter Piper. Yeah, the young beagle. I was delighted, obviously. My best to breed when it thrilled. As I said, it was a great lineup, but those two had that little bit of extra. Well, Andrew, I know you need to get away to the picture, so, yeah. so we'll let you go. Thank you very but, much. But Di, yeah. the best puppy in show, yes. Toy Piddle, spectacular. Just stunning, wasn't it? Beautifully presented. Tom knows what he's doing. We know he's a great groomer. Um, brilliant temperament. Well, thank you very much, Di. Thank you, Andrew, wherever he is. Uh, congratulations to Ian, and hopefully we see him in some more UK show rings throughout 2017. And come back and see us next time at the biggest dog show in the world, Crafts 2017.